Hi, my name is Dr. Todd Ehrlich. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to have lots of fun over the next hour talking about characterization of our seric restorations. In fact, it doesn't just apply to seric restorations. It can apply to any ceramic restoration. There may be times, you may not be a, a seric user, but there may be times you need an oven. Maybe you had to over-polish or over-adjust an occlusion and you just want to get that surface back to where it's looking nice and has a glazed finish. You may want to think about getting an oven because applying glaze and even a few stains is not difficult to do. So the goal of this hour is to take something that is lacking depth, much like this restoration, and turning it into something that has depth in a few very simple, easy steps. We don't want to make this into rocket science or something that's going to get us behind. We want to be able to do this quickly and efficiently. In this tutorial today, we're going to talk about mixing glaze, the application of glaze, blending and mixing stain into glaze, and then defining stain within glaze. Now there are ways that you can actually fixate stain to a ceramic and then apply glaze on top of it. But because we're trying to get this done as quickly as possible, we want to do everything in one fire. Ovens are a critical piece of our equipment. It is absolutely necessary that we have a high quality oven. Not just for the quality of the glaze when it's finished, but the efficiency, the speed, the predictability. You get what you pay for when you, when it comes to an oven.